So it's kind of bittersweet, but my time rocking is up after 43,800 hours. And um, how I calculated that was I've been rocking every day for the last 40 years. And I averaged three hours a day, even though right now I'm, I'm rocking at least 14 hours a day, literally from morning until night. I don't have a job. I basically rock, listen to music, and do a little bit of blogging. But it's consumed my life, and I'm sick of it. I'm tired. I'm 48 years old. I've been rocking since I was eight. And this channel is about stopping not only rocking as an adult, but also stopping the coping mechanisms that we have, um, the addictions that we have, you know, things that we're, we're facing because we're trying to, you know, avoid something deep inside of us. A lot of people can't sit still. They have to fidget. They have to tap. They have to hum. You know, I played drums for over 20 years. I just could not stop tapping. Um, you know, music is my best friend, always has been. Alcohol was my best friend for quite a while until it almost killed me. I had a heart attack when I was 32 with that. Finally quit when I was 36. But there's still a lot of little uh, addictions and coping mechanisms that I have. And I'm blowing those all out of the water. But the reason why I'm really quitting autistic rocking is because it's been most of my life. I mean, we're saying, I'm saying three hours minimum every day up to 14 hours a day. And uh, all of my girlfriends over the years have, have accepted it. My parents accept it. You know, no one's really told me to stop. It's, it's for me because I don't even know who I am without rocking. This is something I do from morning until night. I daydream. I look out this door here. I look at nature. Um, you know, I used to watch freighters go by uh, at, at my parents' house growing up on the Puget Sound, um, listening to music. And, you know, I've watched life go by. 43,000 hours. You know, that's, that's a substantial amount of time that I have not grounded and stopped and really paid attention to who I am and and I haven't really even tapped into the feelings that I've been running from since I was eight years old. I don't really know why I started rocking. I was eight years old. I started rocking on the floor while watching TV with my parents. I know my dad was strict. Um, he was kind of scary when he got angry. I don't know. But all I know is that I had a very addictive personality from a very young age. I wanted to escape reality any way possible. And now it's all time to unravel. And this channel is about unraveling on camera and stopping rocking. In two days, January 1st, 2021, I'm not going to rock anymore. You know, and... I'm 48 years old. I don't even look 48. I don't feel 48. I feel like a kid trapped in an adult body. I don't really feel like I've developed as an adult. And there's pros and cons to that. I've preserved my youth. I don't have stress like other people do. I don't have the wrinkles that men my age have. Um, but on the other hand, I'm... I haven't fully developed, you know, my emotional state. I, I swing off the handle. I'm, I get irritated easily. I take people's, uh, I take people way too seriously. I give people all of my power. I give my power away around anyone. You know, I lose my identity in others. So I'm basically a rocking empty shell and I have a lot of potential and my sole purpose now is to help others stop autistic rocking, stop addictions, coping mechanisms, escapism, whatever you call it, whatever makes you want to run from yourself. And we're going to get to the very bottom of it. I'm going to have days where I'm going to probably be freaking out. I'm going to be crying. 
And it's kind of sad because, I mean, this is a farewell to a 40-year habit. I mean, it's literally, it's more than a habit. I mean, 14 hours a day is a lifestyle. I mean, I don't know anything else. And so it's going to be very, very scary. But I believe you and I can do this together, and that's why I'm creating this channel. I'm sorry the light keeps changing, you know, the phone's at a weird angle. I wanted to show you how I rock. I actually have a, um, a rocking sock. I don't want to get carpal tunnel, so I grab this and I wrap it around my wrist, and I put it between my legs, and I got one leg back here, one leg here. I also rock <clears throat> like this. I'm on a cushion. And I can just, you know, I have Asperger's too. I mean, because I can literally just stare at a wall and daydream all day. I don't need a lot of stimulus to entertain myself. I mean, I've always had a girlfriend, you know, I, I can't do this alone. And before I had, you know, if I didn't have a girlfriend, I had alcohol. But I've always had some type of comforting escape. Music, alcohol, a girlfriend, um, even porn, you know, masturbating, anything to escape who I am. And I, I don't even know what I'm running from. It's like an invis invisible enemy. And it's, it's probably, you know, it's hiding in silence. But silence is also where all of my gifts lie. And I have to face the fear. I have to face the unknown, you know, in a day and a half, New Year's Day, I'm not going to be rocking anymore. And I'm going to document it with this, with this video, with this channel. And, you know, I've done videos about this before on other channels, and I got a lot of feedback from you guys. There's a lot of you out there that are autistic rocking like I am right now. You do it to calm yourself, to comfort yourself. And that's why I do it. It's a soothing, it's a soothing feeling. To move back and forth is a soothing feeling. When I sit still, I feel like I'm at a stoplight. I feel like my life is stopped. I don't feel good about it. I feel tension. I feel irritable. You know, I'm like, what am I going to do? I'm sitting still. And it's a very scary, you know, it's a very scary thought. You know, we're talking 43,000 hours or more, possibly 60,000 hours that I've done this. My, even my, even my knuckles, even my knuckles have pads. You know, these are big, those are calluses from rocking. I have, I have one right there. Um, and you can't really see it, but you can really... You can see it right there. See those, see these pads? That's literally, that's literally from rocking. I have built, I have created these pads. My friends used to make fun of me. They said I had pad, you know, whatever. Pads on my hands. That's how much I've rocked. So I'm tired of watching my life slip by. I know I have a lot to give, and as a narcissistic guy with Asperger's, uh, I feel like I've been very self-centered. I have a lot of anxiety around people, social phobia, because I, I don't know how to interact with people. I even had a panic attack at my, dinner, at my parents' dinner table 10 years ago, and now I'm scared of dinner tables. I'm just not good with intimacy because I haven't really looked into me. So leave a comment if you can relate. Um, it might take a while for this channel to be, be noticed, uh, but I know that there's a lot of you out there that do this. You might have something, some other type of stimming that you do. Um, and yeah, I might be rambling a little bit, but this is kind of bittersweet because I'm sitting here, you know, it's after Christmas. 
uh, New Year's resolution is to stop this big 40-year addiction, really, this habit that's in every aspect of my life. I mean, I have years and years of memories of just rocking on my bed, listening to music. You know, I can recall different albums for different music albums for different years for different memories, for different girlfriends. The mem you know, the music is the backdrop to the rocking along with all the other the all the other addictions that have come over the years. Cigarettes, coffee, sugar, um, porn, uh, heavy metal, hard, you know, rap, um, classical, jazz, trance dubstep you, you name it you know i've i've gone through all the music i've gone through all the emotions i've had great days i've had bad days all with rocking i've rocked all night before i've rocked from morning until night and um i've explored a lot of my thoughts and now it's time to document it and give back so being a narcissistic guy with Asperger's, ex-alcoholic, I want to give now because narcissistic, self-centered people tend to take. They're self-centered because they're in fight or flight. They're scared. They're in fight or flight. I'm still in fight or flight from, you know, my dad's temper. You know, there is still a very dominant eight-year-old boy inside of me. We never get rid of all our different ages. They stay compiled in us. Your eight-year-old is still with you. Your 10-year-old is still with you. Your 12-year-old is still with you. Your 14-year-old is still with you. They're all part of you. And I have the eight-year-old boy who's still scared. So I'm probably gonna do a lot of meditation. Um, I'll, I'll be sharing things that work for me along this journey. I'll be going for walks, I'll be meditating, I'll be eating vegetarian, I'll be staying away from sugar, I'll be limiting my coffee, and I'm gonna journal, I'll probably start writing an ebook. And I'm scared, man. I'm completely have no idea who Eric is outside of rocking. 40 years of Eric is about to slip away and what perfect timing. The world is just so crazy right now. I mean, people are offing themselves left and right, drug overdoses, and rocking is a coping me mechanism that I use for stress, and I'm not gonna have that in two days. But I'm also very excited about all the potential that can happen from this, so. I don't know. I'm just really kind of sad right now. Um, I, it doesn't even feel real that I'm going to stop rocking. And it, and God kind of told me that this is my this is my mission in life. This is going to be it. I told my mom 10 years ago, I said I was going to do something great with my life. And what better time than to hit the 40 year mark with autistic rocking and just stop. And not only stop that, but stop the music, stop the fidgeting, stop the pacing, stop the, the masturbating, the, the uh, hard rock, anything to escape myself. It's, got, it's going to stop in two days. And what is gonna come out of it, it's all gonna be shown to you guys on camera. We're going to do this together. I'm going to do a video every single day. And I want you to subscribe and stay with me. This is going to be very scary, very intense. Because I have to fill 14 hours per day that I used to rock with something else. I have kind of a loose schedule of what I want to do. You know, walk, between walking, working out, meditation, journaling, um, my fiance and I are gonna do yoga and some breath work. We're gonna elevate, we're gonna ascend, we're gonna raise our vibration. 
we're going to get out of this matrix. I'm going to do a lot of videos about escaping the matrix. And the matrix is in our mind. Of course, it's all around us, but the main matrix is the program that plays in your head every single day. The negative thoughts, the toxic habits, you know, the routines, the things that aren't good for you, the, the programming. We're going to break free from all of that. And I'm going to go into monk mode. I'm going to talk about monk mode a lot based off a guy that I used to watch on YouTube. I don't know what happened to him. His channel disappeared, but he used to talk about monk mode. In fact, <clears throat> I have this, one of my favorite documentaries. It's called Into Great Silence. It's about monks uh, in a monastery in the French Alps. And, um, inside the famed Carthusian monastery. And uh, these guys are beautiful. And I've always admired, there's two things I like as a person with Asperger's. Um, it's camaraderie of guys, because I have i don't have any friends since I have got sober 10 years ago. All my guy friends left. They weren't really friends, they were just drinking friends. But I, I miss camaraderie, and I miss and routine. So I like prison movies. My, you know, one of my other favorite movies is Shawshank Redemption, because I like routine and I like camaraderie between men. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm gay. I'm, I'm saying that I miss that friendship with guys, you know, because um, I'm basically sitting here alone, just rocking. Uh, I mean, my fiance is here. We have a good time together. We watch movies and stuff, but I'm I'm even isolating, you know, from her. So it's it's something I have to just I have to stop this. Um, so, anyways, I'm kind of rambling because I'm I'm scared. I know that these days are close to being over. You know. These days are close to being over. I'm not going to be rocking anymore. And uh, I love you guys. I miss you. I miss you because I've been rocking most of my life. I haven't stopped to really uh, enjoy friendships. I haven't really hung out in groups. I'm scared of more than one person at a time. I don't like groups. I miss, you know, I'm sure I've missed out on a lot. But now... I'm not trying to rationalize it, but a lot of people are isolated and I can handle it pretty well. A lot of extroverts out there can't be with their friends right now because of all this craziness. And that's one, that's one place that I got licked is I can be alone because I've been rocking. But that's going away in two days. So anyways, I've talked long enough. Um, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I um, Tomorrow is the 31st of December of 2020. It's the last day I'm going to rock. And I'm holding myself accountable, uh, accountable doing these videos. So I can't, I can't stop. And I, I don't want to let you guys down. And I don't want to, I'm tired of failing. I'm tired of, I'm, I'm tired of quitting things, you know, and feeling guilt and shame. My whole life has been relapsing and feeling guilt and shame for all my addictions and coping mechanisms. So it's all going to stop. And there's going to be freedom, but it's going to be scarier than hell. And so love you guys. We'll talk to you tomorrow.